Hello everybody, my name is Splattercat, and welcome to our next Let's Play, which is going to be Prison Architect, a game by Introversion, who created the great game Darwinia and the game Multiwinia. And so they are not a new hat to this whole arena, and the game is actually pretty well polished. It's in alpha stage right now, and I'm not going to lie, I have hit loads of bugs with this game, but most of them are fixable. You can work your way around them, so there, as long as you can work your way around them, it's okay. It's when I lose entire games based on bugs that I get frustrated. So, in any case, I'm going to create a new prison. And I am going to play with continuous intake turned on. And what that does is it makes it so we get a constant stream of inmates. And it makes the game more like a race. It's also going to shorten this LP a little bit. So that it doesn't drag on to like a thousand episodes. I'm going to disable the fog of war so that I can see all the crazy stuff that's happening in my prison. Because, frankly, when things kick off, it's funny to watch. I actually get a lot of jollies out of just seeing all my little characters interact with one another. And it's going to be a medium-sized prison, because large would just take enormous amounts of time. So, here we go. We're going to click play. And there's our new map. Now, as you can see at the top, our workers are coming in on a truck. We have 24 hours until our prisoners arrive. And so, I'm going to do some basic stuff here in the beginning. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my rooms menu and kind of shrink our garbage and deliveries area so that we have a nice little entrance to our prison. And I wanted to make sure the game was not paused still. It's fine. All right. And so then I'm going to start getting some walls queued up. So here we go. Queuing up walls. I think. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. Leaving spaces for doors. And you'll see trucks come in with all the stuff that my people are going to need to build their doors. And there's a bug right there. The sound has decided to die on us. Alright, and so we're back now. We have sound again. Everything is flowing. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. There are little bugs, like little bugs and foibles that the game has. It's in an alpha phase, so you can't really get too irritated about it because you're not playing the full game. So why bother getting frustrated? Now, I am going to place doors. There we go. We've got doors in place. So that everything is nice and cordoned off from the general population once we get going. This is going to function as my intake and my little walkway. But for now, let's focus on an administration building. So I'm going to take my foundation here. And I'd like an office that holds... Oh, I don't know. I think eight people would be enough. So I think a... 25 by 15 is how I calculated this out on paper. There we are. And there is a tool that you can use to calculate your buildings. It's up on the forums. You can check it out. I'll put a link to it in the comments. And you'll see my little dudes are going to spring into action here. And they're going to start building this building. We only have 22 hours left, so we generally want to get a lot of stuff done. Now, one thing you'll notice is your bank account balance is very low at the beginning of the game. And how you remedy this is you go to your reports menu down here in the bottom. And from here, you can access your staff list, your prisoner list, jobs that are being worked on. But what we want is grants, which are basically free money. So we're going to take the detention center grant, which is basically a quest that's telling us all the things we need to build for a detention center. The administration center grant, which is free money once again. Cell block A, which is going to give us money up front. And then we also get another $10,000 after we have space for 15 prisoners. And the hospital which is going to do the same thing. 10000 up front and 10000 after we build the hospital. So now, as you can see, we are flush with cash. $85,000. And so now we can kind of focus on this. Now, these buildings aren't going to complete themselves until we put doors in. So let's go ahead and do that. Door. And door for our little walkway. Super awesome. So far, I'm already liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So... I think this is definitely going to work for our purposes. I think this should have enough space for eight. And also what we're going to need is another storage area. So let's go ahead and do a second foundation. And what I'll do is we'll go nine by 12. And another space, nine by 12. One of those is going to be for storage, and one of them is going to be for our pump station. And I love that animation. It's kind of like when you play solitaire in Windows and you get that little thing when you finish the game. It's the same feeling I get when I see that animation. I'm actually really pleased with how smoothly everything runs here. For It's a Flash game, but it looks amazing for a Flash game. It runs remarkably smoothly for a Flash game. I really like it. So, I think this one is probably going to be our pump station. Actually, we'll make this our storage, and this one will be our pump station. Now, we need to start building fences and things. Kind of get our areas cordoned off. 
So let's go ahead and get some fences rolling as well, and we can get those under materials. And what we'll do, let's we'll just connect that like so. And there. And what I would like to do is leave enough space. That's not what I wanted. There we go. What I would like to do is leave enough space so that we can have a hospital over here. So we'll get these fences in place just so everything is nice and taken care of. There's a number of ways you can place tiles in this game. The first is just by clicking with your left clicker, and that'll place straight lines, or if you're building a building, it'll create those rubber band boxes that I showed you. You can delete by right clicking, rubber band boxing everything. And then the second way you can do it is by holding down shift, and then you can kind of paintbrush like so. And we can delete those as well. So now you'll see everybody's gone to work. They are putting lights in. I know that some people prefer to remove the lights so that it clears up the job queue and also uses less electricity. I don't really feel like micromanaging to that extent right now. But I do want to make sure that no one can escape from my prison. That really is the point of the prison, is so that nobody can escape from it. I'm going to go five up with some stone walls there, five up with some stone walls there. Five down with some stone walls there, and five down. You'll see why in just a moment. Oh, and that's not going to work. That's actually going to have to be a three wide, so let's cancel all that. I miscounted. There we are. And so if you want to demolish a wall, you just click the little demolish wall thing here, or you can close this off, right click. Well, it may not let me do it. I just actually canceled it. Never mind. So we'll demolish that. There we go. And so now we are on our way to having a functioning, at least administration center, and also a little bit of structure. I do enjoy having everything nice and neat and tidy and symmetrical. That's just me personally. Let's place some doors in these buildings over here. So... I'll put a door there, and we'll put another door there. Awesome. And then we will also place, I guess, well, maybe not. I'll think about that one for a bit. We'll see how our workflow goes before I start putting in tons of excess doors. The less access in general, the better. So now we need to go through, and while they're building, we need to designate our doors. So I'm going to take this one and call it staff only. You can do that just by clicking on it and you go to staff only, staff only, and so forth. And that's going to make it so that prisoners, well I mean they may try, but it makes it so the guards know that it's absolutely off limits. They do try to defend them in some manner. And there we are. Now with this extra space down here what I'd like to do is we're going to place some brick walls. I don't know what that placement was. And you'll kind of see what I'm doing in just a moment once the whole structure is finished. And they are actually doing a pretty good job of getting this fencing done. We've got 18 hours left, so we do want to start hustling. We want to make sure that we have everything in place by the time our first little crop of miscreants gets here. And so I think I'm going to make a holding cell first. So going to the building here. We'll go ahead and make a 7x... A there we go. A 7x11 holding cell. That looks nice. And it's saying it's blocked, so we're going to cancel it. There is a bug right now where sometimes they will say that it's blocked when it's not. And you can remedy that bug by deleting it and just re it up. It took me forever to figure that out. It actually took me a while. Like, I was scrapping entire games because of that bug. I was getting frustrated with it. All you got to do is delete the building and rebuild it. Which may be just, you know... It's a growing pain of the game. Now... I may put actually a second gateway down here just for efficiency's sake. But another thing we're going to need is a shower. So let me get a shower queued up. And so that's going to be, let's see, seven. Yeah, that'll do. And then we're going to need, oh, doing math in my head. We'll go 16 down, and I think that'll work. And that's going to give us a little space for... And it's saying this one's blocked now. Awesome. So we've got to redo this again. There we go. 
So let's see if they get blocked this time. Nope. All right, we're good. So, and the next thing we're going to need... Well, let's get some other things installed here real quickly. So, our holding cell, with any building, you can mouse over it, and it's going to tell you the objects it needs in order to be functional. Now, we haven't designated this a holding cell yet because it needs a door. So, let's go ahead and put our door in. And both are odd. So, we'll put in one of those. And once he puts that door in, we'll go over how to segregate things. And there goes the sound again. Alright, so in this last little period, we've got a couple minutes left in this Let's Play. I would like to get some more basic setup taken care of. Now that our sound is back, it seems to enjoy dying on us. That's a bug that I just keep coming across left and right. My sound just keeps dying, and I like to hear the clinking and clanking of work being done. It helps me know that things are being completed, but I do want to designate some space. So what we'll do is go to the Rooms menu down here, and we're going to call this our Storage Area. This one we don't have to designate because we're just going to put utilities in it. So I'm going to place a Power Station. And there it is. And a pump station. And there it is. Actually, I'll line them up. There we go. That looks nicer. Now, we need to make an office for our warden as well. So I'm going to cordon off his little area. And there we are. There's a little 5x5 five five space for him to work in. And we'll designate that as well. And I'll kind of explain how designations work. This one should roll over pretty shortly too so that I can designate it a holding cell. Now our shower needs an entrance. So what I'll do is I'll grab this object here. And that looks well enough. And making sure things are happening. All right, so we're gonna speed this up a tad. And now that that's in place, we need to connect it with electrical cable. So we'll do that so that our pump has electricity because our pump is not going to do much pumping if it doesn't have electricity. And we have 15 hours left. And these doors are really... This is kind of making me nervous down here that this one isn't rolling over. I really hope I don't have to rebuild it again. Strangely enough, why are you not turning into an actual building? Hmm. Ah, well. We'll worry about it in a moment. So let me take a look. He's bringing the door down to our shower. Excellent. And as you can see, here next to your power station, you've got a little grid where it says what your drain is. Now, we can offset that. When that bar hits the top, all the power shuts off and everything goes out. Let me designate my shower up here real quickly and then I'll continue. Or I'm sorry, my office up here and then I'll continue. Okay, so we need to put in capacitors so that doesn't happen. So let's grab the capacitors here. And I think four to... Five should probably be enough. I'm not going to worry about too many more than five. Now, why aren't you placing, my friend? Why aren't you placing? I think I know how to fix this. I think I know how. There we go. Okay. So I have indeed seen this problem before. So what you can do is if your buildings aren't completing, you can right-click them with no menu open. You go back to building and you relay the foundation as though you're doing it fresh. And boingo. It'll finish itself. Another bug. So I'm hoping that I'm illuminating some of these things just in case. We're going to put in a holding cell now. There we are. There's our holding cell. And we're going to put in our shower. So let me pause things here because I feel like I'm running out of time. I definitely feel like I'm operating on borrowed time right now. So our shower is in place. And any building you can mouse over and it's going to tell you what you need for that building to function. So a holding cell needs a toilet and a bench. Our office needs a desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet. So let's go ahead and place those objects. So we've got a... Where are you? Desk. There you are, desk. And we'll put you in, and then we will place a chair. And we'll place a couple filing cabinets as well, because this is going to be the warden's office. And he needs lots of space to file things on our cons. And so now that we have him in office, we're going to place the warden here. And so now we have a warden. You can get him from the staff menu down here in the bottom. So we have a warden now. He's going to allow us to do research, and I'm going to jump straight in with that. If you go down to your bureaucracy menu down here, it's basically a tech tree. I'm going to unlock nursing right now, or doctors basically, so that you can heal people who get injured. Both your staff and the cons are going to get injured, and you need to be able to take care of that. Our holding cell, we're going to place some benches. There we are. And now that we've got benches in place, I'm also going to place toilets. So there's some toilets in our holding cell. Down here in the shower, we're going to have to take care of business as well. 
But for now, I think this is probably a good spot to cut off this episode. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in episode one of our Let's Play of Prison Architect. I hope to see you next time and take care out there. Mm -hmm.